Hi, I'm Shay, and today I'm going to take you through how to pick your espresso as well as how to pull an espresso shot. Here I have with me a beautiful Guatemalan coffee. This is our everyday go-to espresso just because it pairs so well with milk and because it's a washed coffee. On this side here, I have a beautiful natural coffee from Burundi. If you're looking for something a little bit more adventurous, we also offer some sort of adventurous espresso as well. These guys will pair a little bit differently with milk, so just know that when you're pairing it with any sort of alternative, that those tasting notes will taste different. Some cafes like to pull a dedicated espresso. Here at Rogue Wave, we like to pull a little bit of everything. It's all down to personal preference, what you like your coffee to taste like. We'll talk about how to troubleshoot and how to dial in a brand new espresso in the next video. When picking an espresso, use tasting notes as your guide. Here I have a Guatemalan coffee and it has tasting notes of chocolate, hazelnut, and pear. Now I'll walk you through how to pull an espresso shot. So these are a few things that you need to know before pulling an espresso shot. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to pull a shot at whatever parameters you had before just to get some numbers. Essentially you want to know how much volume of coffee is coming out of your espresso machine in what amount of time. If it's too slow or too fast, you're gonna to wanna to change your parameters. You can do that by easily changing the grind size to finer or coarser, or putting in or taking out coffee, depending on if it's running fast or slow. So for example, if you have a shot that pulls 40 grams volume of coffee in 20 seconds, that means that your shot is running way too fast. The way you can change that is by adding in more coffee if you have the room, or tightening up your grind size, so making it finer. Vice versa, if your shot is pulling maybe 20 grams of coffee and it's been 40 or 50 seconds, that will mean that you have to take out coffee and or change your grind size to being a little coarser. Now I'll take you on how to actually do those things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out our portafilter and make sure that it's dry. Next, we're gonna start our grinder and we will grind a shot. Then we're going to make sure that our coffee bed is flat. So we're going to distribute our coffee by giving it a few taps on either side and clearing off the sides. Then we're going to tamp it and we're gonna ensure that we are pushing down at a 90 degree angle and keeping it nice and flat. in our portafilter and start our shot. So now I'm going to start my shot. On our machine, we have a pre-infusion. If you don't have a pre-infusion on your machine, that's okay. Um, we like to run ours for about seven seconds before we actually cue our shot. Now that our shot is running, we will watch how it runs. Typically, we like to cut our shots at about 38 to 40 seconds and about 38 to 40 grams. Great, now you have an espresso shot.